Hey YouTubers, it's Platt and we're continuing on our beer style series. Today we're going to talk about the ESB or Extra Special Bitters. Uh, let's go over the numbers real quick. Uh, SRM, which is a measure of the color of the beer, the higher the number, the darker the beer, comes in at 5 to 16. The IBUs, or the measure of how bitter a beer is, come in between 20 and 40. The uh, ABV, alcohol by volume, of this beer comes in at 4.5, to so around the mid fives. And temperature wise, we're gonna serve this beer at between 50, 55 degrees. Um, the best way to summarize an extra special bitters is think of it as an English pale ale. Um, a traditional ale with a little more hop uh, character. Uh, these beers actually was my first introduction to the pale ale style. Um, before the microbrewery kind of uh, revolution of the 2000s until today, when we started getting big, you know, the hoppy pale ales, IPAs, the hop bomb beers, 25 plus years ago, you, you know, some of these ESBs, I remember Red Hook, was one of the first ones I tried. I remember thinking, wow, that's a hoppy beer. Compared to today's beers, they're not real hoppy, but when some of them were introduced here in the States, I, I remember thinking, whoa, those are those beers have a lot of hop character. And uh, so for your Bud Light drinking friends, you're, you're, that's one of the things they're gonna notice. Uh, this beer is copper to gold, or gold to copper in color. It uh, has a mild, alcohol sensation. Uh, once you get obviously into like IPAs and stuff, you're going to notice more alcohol. Uh, it pours brilliantly clear. Uh, beautiful to look at in the glass. Um, for hop flavor and bitterness, it's going to be medium plus. You're definitely going to notice the hops compared to the English brown ale. Uh, to balance that out, there's a medium plus malt sweetness. So we've added more hops, but we're going to balance it with a little more malt in this beer. Uh, the ale yeast does produce some a little bit of fruity ester, so you're going to get some of that unique kind of ale funkiness in a way, but not a lot. Um, this beer is a moderate body uh, that's low carbonated, and it and it uh, produces a short finish. Uh, the particular one we're trying today is the Fuller's ESB. It comes at 5.9% alcohol. So it's a little on the uh, higher scale. Um, one quick thing, uh, I always do a food pairing. Pair this with roasted chicken and fish and chips, which makes a lot of sense being an English style beer. Uh, getting back to Fuller's, Fuller's, uh, the, the brewery itself was uh, founded in 1816, and now Fuller's is a chain of pubs, restaurants, hotels, um, Throughout Great Britain, I believe there's like 380 of them, and they also produce uh, their own beer. So, let's give this a try. Alrighty. Alrighty, so yeah, this is a more of a copperish color. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to... Parallel with Sam Adams Boston Lager Star's color. We got a nice little head. Uh, let's give her a nose. Oh yeah, I get I get uh, plenty of malt, but there's a little little hops to this. Uh, I'm gonna say on the nose, I get slightly more malt than I do the hoppiness. Let's give her a try. That's a nice beer. Um, I get, on this particular style, all right, I get malt punch up front, took a second or two, but now I, now the hops are opening. Um, I'm going to say, even though we say this produces a short finish, I'm going to say short plus, because it took a, took, a, took a second or two for those hops to open up, but they do hit the back, hits the back of the mouth a little bit. Uh, I really like the malt characteristic of this beer. Um, it is it is a nice balance because the hops do come in at the end and kind of clean up after the uh, sweetness. Because um, the color, you can tell there's 
just a hint of some of that roasty malt. You know, they're obviously they're using some darker malts to produce this beer, and you get some of that uh, nice complexity in the sense that I, I pick up just a hint of this roasted malt. I get the malt sweetness. It finishes up with a nice hot bitterness, but none of those are over the top. They work uh, well with each other. Also, body-wise, this is something... That's something I can sip on. This is something I can have two or three of. Um, nice beer overall. Uh, Fuller's ESB. I'm going to have to give a thumbs up on that one. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them in the comment section. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.